Hey there, fellas. Okay, so this is a lovely specimen. The half past two, as somebody called it. We drove around in the thing normally. We attempted to put it onto two wheels. There was a lot going on. But while we were at it, we noticed something quite disturbing. So this engine... It emits a lot of smoke. And as such, with the engine producing so much smoke, the time has come for some drastic intervention. Like a full rebuild of the engine. But you see, here's the thing. If oil is finding its way into the chambers and one oil ring is unable to remove it, why not just throw the compression rings away and replace those with oil rings? We're quite curious now. Because with this engine, I mean, if there is some sort of effect, we'd literally be able to see it with the naked eye. So what'll happen if we fit the pistons with three oil rings each? Let's find out. So hopefully you can clearly see the current situation. How it's smoking. Open the gate! Yeah, so as you can see, this engine needs to be cracked open. So let's go ahead and do that. So check this out. We have removed all four pistons from that engine. Yeah, and from the looks of it, these have seen better days. Well, the engine isn't new, so... Okay, so the oil ring is the third in the line. The first two grooves are for the two compression rings. And after them you have the oil ring. And inside the grooves for the oil rings, you've got drainage holes. So when the rings scrape excess oil from the cylinder walls, it moves down, obviously. And also goes through these lovely holes. But I don't think we're going to be doing any drilling in the pistons. The reason being, we lose all compression. The oil ring has to perform, obviously, and though it might not be as effective this way, we are conducting an experiment after all. And so now we go fire up the lathe. We'll need to widen these grooves. Then we throw everything together and stuff these into the block. By the way, we should go have a look at the block. Okay, so the wear on the cylinder walls doesn't look too bad. But you can definitely tell that this engine has seen some use. They might be slightly elliptical, though you'd have to measure that. But I suspect that... It doesn't need to be tampered with. All because our intention is not to rebuild this engine, but to get the smoke level down to a minimum. And so, we're not going to touch it. We'll just fit the oil rings and piece everything back together. Check out what we got here. We have machined all three grooves in each piston. And once again, we are not going to be drilling them. It's so that we have compression. It'll all be going down to ring number one. And here are all of the grooves. The rings are an excellent fit. Very nice indeed. We'll see where we end up later. For now, let's continue.
Okay, guys, we're looking good. All 12 oil rings are on their respective pistons, and those are inside the engine. It's all good, and for starters, I think... Now, we won't measure the compression. First, we'll just try to start it. We should immediately be able to tell if we have compression, as soon as the starter motor begins to spin. And how the engine operates should tell us a lot. Go for it. Come on now. Well, it started. Oh, you're immediately checking the exhaust? Take a look at that. But that is some severe blow-by. Look at the smoke coming from the breather tube. That is very bad. And it's a powerful stream. What about... Shut it off. So to get rid of the gases coming out of the breather, what is that system? EGR, so we basically have to route it back into the carburetor. So let's fit the air cleaner, hook up the tube. Yeah, allow it to suck the smoke right back in. Yeah, it was bound to smoke after assembly. But you said you didn't apply too much oil. I put a bit on with my finger. Well, obviously, to be able to stuff all of it in. Anyway, let's fit the air cleaner, do a compression test, and start the car and see what happens. Go for a drive, see how it does with that. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, now let's try, well, not try, I mean conduct a compression test while running all oil rings on the pistons. Put to the floor, did you forget? Let's go. Enough. And there you go, that's 8 kilos in cylinder 1. Which isn't necessarily a perfect figure, but it's totally normal for a typical lot engine. It should run without much fuss. Now let's try cylinder 2. Enough. It's a bit over 8.5. Now let's try number 3, hit it. It's 9 and 3. And now let's check cylinder 4. Go. That'll do. 8.5 again. It's all within standard range. 8, 8.5, 9, 8.5 again. Those seem like fairly healthy figures for this sort of motor. And now that the checks are complete, let's fit the spark plugs and go out for a drive. It even... Good thing it even runs. I don't want to press the gas, but I guess I'll have to. Okay, it runs, everything's good. Now we just need to warm it up. Let's go for a drive. It'll get warm, and we'll see what's up. Because right now... Nah, there is a bit of smoke. Give it some gas. That is hot. In any case, as you can see, that is a massive difference. The smoke. Give it some gas. There is a bit of it, but not nearly as much as there used to be. But we'd better warm it up, so let's go do some driving. Out of the way. Say what? Give it some while in gear. Well, it drives reasonably well. I mean... Look at him running.
It's still smoking though, hum. A tiny bit, tiny bit. You think we'll tell the difference? So check this out guys, the engine is nice and warm. And the smoke has become black. Which tells us that the rings are doing something. I gave it a lot of throttle. It does have a bluish hue, but in any case. Now the old rings were in pretty shoddy. They were looking really bad. And so we binned all of the compression rings, fitted solely oil rings, and just look at these miraculous results. I mean, maybe it's down to them being fresh. We did buy three sets of rings. Three new rings for each piston. And the car doesn't smoke as much. We didn't drill any oil drainage holes for the upper two rings. That being said, the car no longer smokes as much. It drives all right, happily starts. And in theory, an oil ring shouldn't even give you any sort of compression, right? It wouldn't really seal a piston, but we saw 8, 8.5, 9, and uh, 8.5 kilos while measuring the compression. Mind you, these are perfectly acceptable figures for a lot engine. It'll perform very well on that. And so there's a curious life hack for you. So if your engine is smoking, just install a bunch of oil rings and you'll be good to go. That'll solve all of your problems. I mean, you can try it if you have some oil rings lying around in your garage. We gave this a try and it worked. As for how long this engine will last on this type of setup, nobody knows except for the gods of engine building. We definitely can't make any predictions. But what matters is that everything worked beautifully. 107% success. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.